I think the interesting thing about this is that the consumers don't have attention span. They want convenience. They want it delivered. They want it mass customized. They want it in front of them. Think about as an advisor, how you're delivering on the consumer expectation where your competition is Amazon, Netflix, Fang, uh, stocks, and so forth. I mean, th these guys are setting the standard and we're all following and chasing that standard in the delivery of technology services. How are you going to basically make sure that you create a financial advisory experience that, that basically exceeds this, can go beyond what the capacity of a technology is, at least for now? Right. Who knows what the future will hold, but I think the, sh the short-term future is just that. Like, look how many people use Amazon and everything else online that we order. They want that convenience, and they're doing it from a place that has a strong digital reputation that does have transparency. So we know that model works. We know robo advice in the way that it first came out doesn't work actually work that well, but this new human element that we're talking about, which actually isn't new at all, it's just being facilitated differently. This is mm -hmm. a different medium now. You have to get in front of this as an advisor. Well, you don't have to do anything, but I, I would argue that if you don't, you're gonna be playing catch up and eventually be just kicked out of the game.